Welcome, this is Mr. M. This is your JS Fiddle assignment. Let's get started. So you'll get the link from the YouTube video or from my notes. Let's go to an existing fiddle I did for you. And uh, let's make sure it works first of all. It's working. Now you want to fork this fiddle, so before you hit fork you want to log in and you log in with your own username. And now that you're logged in, um, you want to grab that fiddle and you want to fork it. Now this fiddle will be under your account and if you wish you can go to information and put your name here or anything that you that you want. Now I'm going to update it. We're on revision two, or revision one rather, and I'm going to run it. Start animation, so it's working. So let's have a look at this uh, JS Fiddle. We're going to add uh, a reset button to it. So I've already added the, um, this is what you started with up here. And all I did was add ID BTN for button. It's a nice abbreviation. And then capital S, start. And then I added another button called Reset, and I gave it a unique name, BTN, capital R-E-S-E-T, Button Reset. So that's the two buttons. If I hit Run here, you'll notice the Animation button actually does something, and uh, the Reset button doesn't do anything. So what we're going to do here is going to add um, a click event for the other buttons, and we can do that just by giving us some space here you got to watch these brackets. Let's see if that works. And we're going to put reset here. So now if somebody clicks on reset, we want to return to the starting position. And I think the height was 100 to start with. The width was 100 and the left margin was probably 0 so let's try 0 there. So we've added an event for um, button reset if someone clicks on it run this animation by the way the div tag is referring to this div tag. Uh, let's update that and we'll see if it works. Start animation reset start animation, reset. It looks like the starting position had a bit of a margin there, but that's something you could play with. So a good trick here is to uh, always put, I put uh, NBTN reset. And I'll often, because if you get these brackets mixed up, nothing works and I'm going to end button start and I'll even add end j query function if you throw those comments in you're going to have a much better time when you're creating new buttons so um Let's make this thing disappear. Can we try that? So um, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to uh, paste it in there. And instead of reset, I'm going to call it vanish. And I'll give it a unique name. I'll use a capital there. That's called camel case because it looks like a camel's hump. Button vanish. And now with these comments, it's very easy to get a hold of the right stuff. And again, I'm going to say this is the end of button. It's just a um, comment there, and this has to agree. Has to agree with what we put up here. Button vanish, button vanish. And we're going to cheat a little bit here. There are lots of ways of doing it, but let's just change the opacity to zero. So with an opacity of zero, that box will. Um, probably disappear and let's just see one brick at a time let's update that 
and we we'll, we can run it. May not have to do that. So let's go start animation, reset animation, and let's see if the vanish button works. Uh, the vanish button does work, and if we come back here, all three buttons are working. So we could probably, I don't think these are doing anything for the vanish. Let's take that out if we don't need things. We shouldn't put them in there. It's just extra space. Well, let's update that to revision 4. Run it. And start animation, reset, and vanish. Maybe I'll pull that down a little bit so you can see. So that's the code. Um, on your own, you can try to add another another button in there to, to do something else. Um, and you know, we change these colors from those uh, really ugly colors in the tutorial. So maybe I'm going to update it one more time. And maybe I'll, um, I think that's good.